There he is. Got him. There's three. Right, there's one last one in here somewhere. There he is. Oh god. Okay, oh god. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Mist Survival. We are now on episode four. So, guys, in the last episode, we went on a bit of a mining run, and we managed to get ourselves a load of ores. Now, you can see that I've dumped a load of them just in the house here, um, but we have actually managed to go ahead and smelt some back in the uh, in the farming area before we ended off the last episode. So, what I want to do today, guys, is see if we can actually uh, go ahead and go back to the farm place and see if we can actually make a few cool things. Now, I need to go ahead and uh, really quickly put my pickaxe away because, I mean, we don't need this on us anymore because we're not going to be doing any mining in this episode we're just going to go ahead and go from here and see what we can do so uh yeah i've uh, also gone ahead and uh, eaten some more bear meat and stuff off camera um just so i can uh, fill myself up the cars have been emptied and everything so we should be pretty much ready to go ahead and get going here and see if we can make our way back to the farm get some cool things and then see if we can build a couple of good things now there's a couple of things i do want to grab um and that's going to be uh, i'm going to want some of these actually let's split half of these i'm going to want four of these i believe and we're going to need some planks for having to have any around here um we don't but i should be able to make some with this hang on let's see if i can make some planks here um so let's go inventory and let's just go and craft some planks up here so i think that gives us one each right so four planks from that craft ourself there you go so it'll probably turn into morning by the time we're done but this should give me some planks i need before we head out because i want to see if we can make um i want to see if we can make a couple of things one of those is going to be the american eagle which is a uh, very very cool a very very cool machete type thing uh that we can use to instantly kill zombies if we can get the swinging right now the uh the american eagle is a bit difficult to use sometimes but it's a, it's a thing so let's go ahead and make our way out of here shall we so we're going to go and head to I can uh, see where I'm going. Here we go. We're going to go and head back to the farming area without crashing into this little tree. I think there's a little tree here that we knocked shot down. Yeah, that little one there. Funny thing is, if you crash into those little trees, it will actually damage your car. So just be very careful about that. Okay. So let's go ahead and head on the road then. And we're going to head down to the, uh, to the farming area. And we're going to see if we can grab... All the, uh, all the stuff that we smelted last time. And I think there's a couple of extra bits there that we can actually get going with again as well. So we have pretty much looted everything down here. However, there is going to be some other cool things that we will be able to loot as we go along. Um, so that place does not lead to where I want to go. I think there's another road. There's another road just down here that does lead where I do want to go. Actually, it might have been the one by the motel. But you know what? We'll take the uh, we'll take the scenic route to, uh, to where we want to go. Why not? So let's go and drive down here. And yeah, we've got to be very careful with the uh, with the driving because I don't really want to crash my car and lose everything. So we'll just go ahead and uh, speed down this road here. Let's be yeah, let's be very careful driving. Let's be proceed to like drive at 100 miles an hour. That's 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 kind of what I'm like. You guys know this, right? So let's go ahead and turn in here, and this should lead us to this should lead us to the big farm again because this is where we want to be going. Hopefully our car is not going to get flipped over this time because that'd be bad. Okay, here we go. So we're at the farm now. So sorry, it's a little bit dark, guys. It usually is a little bit dark the first thing in the morning. Could probably use the R to turn our turn our headlights on here. And there we go. Let's go ahead and make our way along here then. So we'll make our way over to the uh, barn just over this way. Okay. Oop. Okay. Careful. 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 Oop. Around the trees. There we go. We kind of have to go around that side of the trees, however. <laughs> yeah, I kind of drove the wrong side here. Can I get between these trees here? There we go. Right now we know where we're going. We've got to go up here. All right, so let's head back to the uh, to the to the uh, blacksmith's furnace here, and we're going to see which of our things have been created. And hopefully, with all that said and done, we should be able to make the American Eagle once we're done here. So let's go ahead and uh, turn off the car right here, and let's uh, jump on over here. Should be able to make my way to the top. There we go. And let's go and see what has melted up because I know we left some other ores around here so that we could continue uh, continue melting things. So let's pick all these up. And let's see what else we can actually melt inside this thing. So we should have a few uh, metal ingots ready ready for us to go. So we've got some there. And we have uh, some zinc ore ready to go here. So we can go ahead and get those melted up. And we've got some... I think we've got some copper here. Because I know we can make brass with some of these. So we can do... That'll give us one brass. Hang on. 
I think it's two gobble to one zinc to make a brass, isn't it? Like that. There we go. That'll give us two brass. Um, we can go and get uh, this one out, and we can get this one out now. There you go. Now these can stack, and then we can do another. Okay, what else do we have here? We have another load of copper here. So one more copper should be good. Let's see what else we have. We have zinc and stuff. So I guess we can just do the uh, we can just do the zinc. I don't know if we can make these into anything later on. So I may as well just get these uh, get these. Oh, actually, you know what? You know, we don't need that. We don't need the uh, we don't need anything that can't make brass right now. So that's fine. We'll keep that in there. There's some more copper right there, but there's only one. Yeah, pretty much everything else is zinc that we can't really do anything with. This is used to make brass later, but I think I'd rather keep this as it is. So let's go and get that melting up as well. And then we can pretty much just drop the rest off back here that we don't need. Right, so now we should now we have this. We should be able to come to this guy over here. And then once we've got that, we should be able to come to the weapons one. And we should be able to make the American Eagle with all the stuff that we got here. There we go. One American Eagle. Gonna take us two hours to craft it. However. This is going to be awesome if we can get this made, because the American Eagle is a special type of knife that can one-shot Zeds, which is really, really good, because that's going to definitely help us out a ton when we're going ahead and trying to fight these guys. There we go, so we now have an American Eagle, ready to go, and I think this is all good. Let's have a look. Let's pull this thing out. There you go. We now have one American Eagle. Look at this. Huzzah! So now we should be able to go around uh, to certain POIs, and if there are any zombies inside them, we should be able to go ahead and take them out now with uh, with relative ease, which is really, really good for us. So there is uh, there is also the question of this farmhouse now. So we could potentially break into this area now that we've got, uh, now that we've got this American Eagle. Could potentially break in here, because there are Zeds inside here that we could try and lure out. And see if we can kill them. So that here we go. Okay, there's two of them. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Okay, there's like three of them. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of them running out here. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of them right here. Okay. They're running back inside. Right. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. There you go. Got him. There's one. Right, see if we can take this guy down. Right, this is really intense, because, like, a couple of hits can pretty much finish you off. Here we go. Got him. There's two. Whew. Okay, there's two of them. Right, I don't know how many more there are. I think there's one or two more inside here. Okay, maybe I can get his attention another way. Yeah, there's a couple, there's a couple more in here. Right, okay. So you got two of them. Two of them are down. Let's get the loot. So you got some sugar and some duct tape. That's pretty good. I need them to kind of come over here so I can... Right, there we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, he's coming back in. He's turning turn around. Okay. There he is. Right, let's come back in. Try and lure him out again. Okay, he's going upstairs again. Okay, there's two more in this building. But they'll stay inside as long as it's daytime, which is really good. As long as the... Oh, God, the mist is coming in, though. Oh boy! We might have got caught out in the mist here. Okay. This is actually pretty bad. Alright. There he is. Got him! There's three. Right, there's one last one in here somewhere. There he is. Oh god! Okay, oh god! Kill it! There we go, got him. Okay, he gave us a, uh, a severe wound to the uh, to the arm, but we cleared this uh, we cleared this place out. Okay, how are we doing health? Oh god, health is low. Health is low. Get inside. Get inside. Um, right, use um, use no, don't sleep. Use this. Uh, three treatment. Get the severe wound to the arm healed up quickly. Okay, okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. Get that healed. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, farmhouse has been cleared, which is awesome. There is uh, a military components right there. Not sure what those are used for. Antibiotics. Uh, potato. I don't really need right now. Okay, let's go and have a look in this house really quickly, see if we can uh, see see what loot we can take out of here. Okay, I think the mist is literally about to roll in. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's just hope to God that none none others find me in here. I don't know if there's like a, a door we can close and I can sleep in here. Okay, that's a crowbar door. So yeah, some of these doors require the crowbar. I don't want to be using the crowbar just yet. Um, because... Oh, that was, that was lucky. That was, that was close. I don't want to be using the crowbar just yet because... I think if I do, things are going to go south very, very quickly. So let's go and grab everything that we can. So sewing kits, I have been advised to start taking these, so I will go ahead and take these if I can. Uh, right, can I close this door? No, I can't. Okay, so let's try and try and just loot this place quickly. 
and hope for the best. Right, okay. Let's see. Can I head upstairs somewhere? And there's is there a door that I can close here? That one I can't, that one I can't. This one's crowbarred. Oh man, none of these doors I can close. Because I know if, I'm, if I use the crowbar, I'm going to make noise. And if I make noise, that's going to be bad. So there's a combat knife in here. Let me turn off my light real quick. And no, that's turning on the light. No, my light is already off. Okay, turn the light off. Let's keep the light off. And then hopefully from there, we should be okay. Because while I say the zombies outside, I do not want to be messing. I do not want to be particularly messing with them out there. Because my health is already low enough. So yeah, we are, we do have the bleed on us. We're severely wounded to the arm as well, which is a, a very bad thing. Because severe wounds mean that um, if you swing with your arm, then it does more damage to you, essentially. Because uh, I'll show you how it works. So say if I swing with my arm, like this, you'll see that there's uh, you'll see that the, the bar starts filling up. So let me kind of swing like this, so you can see. The bar is slowly starting to fill up. And if that bar fills up, the wound will get worse, um, which is not good. You don't want your wounds to get worse than they already are. So we're going to have to be super careful here. Now, there's not really much else I can really loot up here. And I don't really fancy going downstairs right now. Quite honestly, because, yeah, we got pretty beat up. But eventually we will be able to find a bulletproof vest to help us out with these kind of things. But for right now, yeah, we're kind of, we're kind of screwed a little bit. We're, we're stuck in here. And we got caught out in the mist. Completely, completely the wrong time to get caught out in here, which is, uh, which is never good. I just hope none of them see me inside here and decide that they want to make a beeline for me. Okay, let's try and keep looting this, uh, this stuff here. Because that's the thing, I'm, I'm scared that if I eat, it's going to make noise as well. Because it, it probably will, that's the thing. Like e Eating and making noise is the thing. So let's go and stack those. Uh, these guys can stack. So we got some more pistol rounds, however. So I do have something to uh, load in here. There you go, so pistol is now sitting with uh, eight rounds with two spares. We're going to need bottles now, so I'm going to start taking these. There is another... Set of sugar right there. Uh, anything else in here that we want? Because I want to get behind these crowbar doors because there will be some good stuff in them. Oh, hang on. This door right here. Can I lock myself in here? Yeah, I can. Okay. I can close myself into this door right here. Good. Right, there's another bandage there, so that'll make up for the one that I did just use. Uh, which I cannot take because my stuff is actually full. So it won't go in the hotbar straight away, so we're going to have to drop this down first. Then we can pick up um, the bandage if it wants to let me grab it. There we go. Then we can assign that to the hotbar there. I know he fits up again. There we go, perfect. So we got another bandage now, which is great. So yeah, bit of a bit of a running with the zombies. But thanks to this American Eagle, we did manage to clear out the farmhouse. Now uh, it does look like it's used quite a lot of durability on it already. But now that we've got it here, maybe I'll be able to sleep on the ground here and just recover a little bit. There we go. There's a green spot right there. There we go. Right, let's try and sleep for an hour, and hopefully that will be fine. <laughs> Okay, hopefully I didn't die. Okay. Okay, we all good? Yeah, sounds like uh, sounds like some zombies did come in and go. Oh man, my health is really low. My health is super low. I don't know quite how my health got that low, but yeah, that got my health got really low then. Okay, so now what we should be able to do is eat and drink and hopefully heal ourselves a bit. So let's eat that. Because yeah, I think health still slowly goes down when you sleep, which is fine. Let's go and drink this. So drink still enough. There you go. So we'll go and heal our hunger and thirst and all that good stuff. And then we got a military box, which I'm not sure what this is used for. Um, it's a crafting material. Okay, so we have to use that for crafting only. Okay. So yeah, this is uh, this is something. So we're slowly but surely healing up here, which is good. Um, our severe wound is slowly turning into a not a not so severe wound, which is good. But still, it's going to be. Yeah, it's, it's very risky. We're, we're like we're like on like one health right now. <laughs> it's like it's, this is so bad. Uh, right, so let's go and proceed with this. Hopefully, by doing this, doesn't damage my arm anymore. There we go, and we can open this door up here. Okay, so we finally managed to get into here. Let's have a look and see if we can find anything good in this room. Hopefully, there'll be something. So nothing there, nothing there. There's some shotgun rounds there. Um, I can start like just looting all. Just do a take. We'll see what we can find here. There is. Shotgun rounds in here, so maybe there'll be a shotgun in here, or something good at least. There is some boots there, which I believe we can wear to make us uh, move faster. So if I drop down the sewing kits for a second, let me go and pick up the boots here, and then I can say that I want to equip those. There we go, and this will make me move slightly faster, which is really good. And there we go, guys. There is a shotgun right on this uh, right on this bed right here. Look at that. So we finally have ourselves a shotgun that we can use. However, we need a space to actually put the thing. So let's go and drop the uh, drop the salt. And finally, we have a shotgun that we can use. Excellent. Look at that. So we can go and grab this guy. Put you on the hotbar as well. And I want you in slot number five. And let's go and reload this thing. 
So I don't know how many rounds we got in this uh, to use, so let's just go and load what we can. There you go, so this thing can hold seven rounds, and we got two, uh, we have two spares. Nice, look at that. So finally we have a shotgun. Huzzah. So that's looking pretty good. So we now have a shotgun. This will be, this will make things much easier to clear out a POI, uh, which is very, very handy. So now we can start clearing out more places with this. Uh, now, we, now we have the shotgun in hand, more places can be cleared, which is going to be handy. So yeah, finally, finally we've got a shotgun, which is great. Now health is looking very, very bad right now. Uh, so I might need to go home and sleep for a while just to recover the health. But we'll see. There's another combat knife in here. This had nothing as far as I was aware. Yeah, nothing really much in this room. Now, there was one other door we can crowbar. Which was... Actually, there was two other doors we can crowbar. There was one... Uh, oh, components. Sorry, I want those. There was... Uh, actually, let's, let's put some stuff in the car as well if we can. So the car is over here. It looks like the mist is... Uh, the mist is pretty much gone. Okay, so yeah, the uh, the severe wound to the arm though is not doing us much good. I don't know if I'm going to die from this severe wound. Honestly, I might I might die from this. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and put some stuff away that we don't need. So like uh, military components and stuff, we don't need for that. Uh, sewing kits, we're probably not going to find too many of those. Duct tape again, not going to find too many of them. Uh, we're definitely not going to find more of these or these, so these guys can go away. And things that only stack once, I guess, we can we can just put in here. There we go. Um, so there we go. Some of that stuff is away. Let's go ahead and use the uh, the crowbar then, and we'll open some of the other doors in the area here. So there's one out here which leads to a garage. So let's go and open this. So we can use uh, V to use the crowbar on it. Take uh, 10 minutes. There we go. And what do we have in here? So this is the workbench. And I don't think there's anything else in here. Just a workbench in here. There is an engine in here, though. I will take that. Oh, and a bag. There we go. That'll give me um, a few more slots to my inventory. So that's plus two slots now. So we have a bit more room. Huzzah! More room is always handy. Trust me, more room is definitely always handy. So did we look in this drawer here? Just want to double check, make sure we got everything. We did not get everything. There's some rifle rounds that we missed. And in here, there is some bottles over there. And a, a, a rag over here as well. Okay, is there anything else on here that I can take? Not really in this bit. I think we got everything from this room. I just want to double check before we leave the area. Yep, looks like everything is uh, done there. There's a potato there. I don't really want the potatoes. I mean, I think they just give you food poisoning if you eat them, so I'm just going to drop them. If you can get potatoes and carrots, um, you can make a stew. I know that much, but carrots only drop from the bandits, and potatoes only drop from the zombies, so... The chances of you actually getting both together before they go off is, is pretty low, until you get a fridge, anyway. Okay, I can actually loot this though. Let's have a look, see what's in there. Nothing in either of those. Okay, that's fine. Um, so then over here, there's a sewing kit as well. Over here, there's another door we can crowbar, so let's go and open this guy. And what do we have in this one? In this one, we have some scrap right there, a electronic part right there, another bag right here. There you go, that's given me uh, another plus two slot. Very nice, we've got four more slots in our bag now. There's some cola right there, which I will take. There is anything else on these shelves, or is that it? Pretty much just a slot for a bag, I think. I think that's everything. Yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much it. Just another another bag slot. That's pretty good. So we now have another load of slots in our inventory, which I think is awesome sauce. Okay, looks like there's meant to be a car under there. There is, but it's like it's like it's like part of a car. It's all like covered over and stuff. Is that a car or meant to be a sofa? I don't even know what that's meant to be. Looks like a, it's like looks like it's covering like a really uh, like done in kind of car or something. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. Is there anything I don't really want to keep on me right now? Not really. I think everything else is fine. Um, so our severe wound has now degraded to a regular wound. So let's go and uh, use another bandage on this guy. So we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna use number six and then three, and let's go and apply a second bandage to this and once we've got that guy in there we should be all good so that's going to take um around about three hours to recover that wound so once we go back and rest we should be able to recover this completely and then i should be able to start healing myself as well so i think uh that's probably a little bit of a of an adventure for one day we probably want to head back now and uh just get out of here because the uh yeah, the wound is not looking good, guys. Let's let's face it, the wound the wound is really not looking good right now. So we're probably going to want to head back just a little bit and see if we can go from there. So let's go ahead and uh, get into the car here. And yeah, we're probably going to head back now because yeah, we took a little bit more damage from the zombies than I would have uh, would have found preferable. 
I was hoping to take no damage at all and be good to and be good to go. But unfortunately, these situations do happen. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you do just get off with the uh, you do you do get off with the aim a little bit sometimes, um, especially when the American Eagle has a delay, and especially when you're a blind bugger like me. Uh, that also uh, that also does cause issues. So you know, it's uh, it's a thing. But that's fine. Let's go ahead and head back home then. Let's just head back and we're gonna rest up again, see if we can heal up completely, and then we can go from there. Yeah, it might take us a couple of days to heal fully, because in, in Mist, trust me, healing takes a while. Healing takes a long time in Mist. Right, hang on, let's go and back up here. Go around this car right here, and then we've got to go beyond the garage. And then we can go this way, and down. There we go. And once we've got this sorted, we should be good to come back in here. And then we can go ahead and see if we can heal up here. Here we go. Right. Awesome. Right, so let's go ahead and uh, come inside here. So first important thing to do is to heal. So the first thing we are going to do is go to sleep. Because um, that will hopefully heal us up a little bit more. So let's go and rest. So I don't I don't know if we're still losing health. Let's just rest an hour. Let's actually rest for three hours and see what happens here. How's our health doing? Health is... Fine, and now we're at a slight wound, and we should start to heal now. There we go. So now we got rid of all our wounds. We can go and apply one more bandage to the... Actually, we don't really need to apply the bandage to the slight wound. We can just rest up again. So now that we got that, we should be able to rest completely. And our health will slowly start to rise. Now, health will go up very, very slowly. Trust me, you're going to need a few days' worth of rest uh, to get your health going up. So let's rest for another eight hours here again. So quite a lot of resting. But trust me, we're going to need to if we want to heal completely. There we go. And we are now good. Nice. So it's now the next day. So we've pretty much rested the full day. We've got about half our health back, which is not too bad. Let's see. How is the, uh, how's the meat doing in here? This is at 14%. So let's go and eat one of those. That should get my uh, hunger to fill. And let's go and drink one of these. There you go, drink until enough. We got some spare things uh, spare things going. But yeah, this spare meat is slowly but surely going to go off. I think we're going to be able to get uh, one more use out of this. And then after that's done, we're going to be uh, we're going to be sorted, I think, once that's all uh, once that's all used up. However, we did find some more salt, which we can use for a few things as well. So let's go and put the, uh, the scrap in here. And all the components that we've got as well. So we've got a few more components that we can't completely store. So we're going to need to have a bit of an overflow into one of these as well. So we can put the, I guess we can put the cola in here. Uh, components, I guess then we're just going to have to, we're going to have to drop. We'll make some proper storage eventually, but components we're just going to drop here then. Uh, ammo we can now uh, put with the rest. So we've got loads of shotgun shells. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to keep the, the pistol rounds and the rifle rounds uh, back in here, I think. Uh, rags, so I think it's some bottles. Where am I putting you guys? If I've even been collecting those. Here we go. Uh, rags can go in there. I guess I think it's can go together with the rags as well. And bottles, I don't think I've been keeping anyway yet, because I haven't really found any. So you know what, I guess I'll keep bottles in this one. There we go. Okay, let's go get the rest of the stuff out of the car then, that we don't really need to be uh, keeping with us. Our wound is now gone as well, which is great. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of the sugar then. The duct tape, we got some military components. I'm not sure where some of this stuff is actually going to go, so yeah, that's going to be... It's going to be a, an interesting uh, thing. Let's put the engine in here as well. We can get this iron out of here. And the pills, and we can get the sewing kit out of here as well. Okay, so everything else is uh, in the car there, ready to go. Let's go ahead and drop in then the sun kits, and we can put the sugar back in here. So yeah, quick bit of a uh, quick bit of storage. Get all that sorted out. So sugar can go in here. There you go. Put you guys together. Uh, duct tape. Where the hell are you when you're home? Did I, sorry, Adam. There you go. Duct tape's in here. So finding a bit of duct tape, which is good. So we've got four duct tape so far, which I think is really good for repairing things. So we're going to need a lot of that. Uh, metal is going in here, so you can put the iron and the copper in here. I guess military components can sit in there as well. Medical stuff. Well, considering this has uh, got bottles in, this could be where, where the uh, meds go as well. Electronic circuits can sit somewhere around here. Yeah, you know what? Electronic circuits can go in there as well. Why not? All right, there we go. So that's everything uh, put away. We've got shotgun shells, and now you can see we've got a bit more room in our inventory, which is really, really good. So what we're going to do now, I think, is we're going to go ahead and make our way back to the farm, and then move to uh, move to a new area, I think. So let's go ahead and get back in the car. I do need to hunt another bear at some point as well, because as you can tell, our food supply is going to be running out pretty soon. Uh, our supply of bear. 
it's not going to last us that much longer, so yeah, we'll have to hunt another bear at some point. And this time we actually have a shotgun to kill the thing with, which is, you know, much better. So let's go ahead and head down this way then, and we're going to go back to... I'm going to back to... Oh, oh god. Okay. Oh dear. Right, okay. Get out of the, uh, get out of the car. What did I break? I broke the spark plug. Okay. Right, hopefully the bear is not going to hunt me at this point. Right, let's go and replace the spark plug. Dang it! Right, so you can go in here. Spark plug! Okay, my hand is like ready on the council button. Oh great, the mist is coming back as well. Because the one time I want to head out, and, and what comes back? The mist. Yeah, of course it does. Um, okay, we're going to have to hide out somewhere until it passes then. Okay, let's uh, let's close this. And we're going to pretty much, uh, yeah, we're pretty much going to hide out here like, uh, like, uh, what day is it now? It's day six now. Yeah, we're going to hide out here like, um, for an hour or two, I think, and that should be fine. There's another engine right there, so we can take these. I did grab everything in here, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay, there's some there's some things that are missing here. Hang on. Let me make sure. Okay, there's loads of shotgun shells in here that I missed. Hang on a sec. How did I miss all these? Okay, I guess I, guess I missed these the first time I came through here. All right, well, I'll, you know what? I'll take them. I'll take them then if, uh, if we missed them. But yeah, the mist is rolling in again, so I think it's probably a good idea if we stay in here. Let's have a quick look in here. Oh, and there's a canned fruit right there as well. Excellent, so we have some more We have some more food here. All right, so maybe I'll just sleep on the ground here then. Uh, i got to be very precise looking with it. I'll sleep now, it'll probably wake me up, and then we'll sleep again. For two hours, and we'll bypass the mist here. There we go, so that should hopefully have the mist bypassed. There we go. Right, we good? We good? I think we good. I think we good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Right, so everything is ready to go then. And let's keep... Uh, let's get a move on. Alrighty, so now then we're going to head back to the... Uh, we're going to head back then to the farm. So we're going to go past the motel here. Okay, it is this way I need to go, yeah. I always get confused sometimes on which way I've got to go, but we're going to go back to the farm, but this time we're going to go to not the area we just went to in the farmhouse, we're going to go somewhere different. We're actually going to head back to where the mine is, but from there we're actually going to go a little bit further on, because there's an area there's an area beyond the mine where we can go. Looks like there's another, a load, another load of mist rolling in though. I'm, lo I'm looking at this and it looks like the mist is rolling in again, but that might just be the mist clearing, I'm not sure. Hopefully it's just a sign that the mist is clearing rather than rolling in. So what we're going to do this time then is we're going to head to, we're going to essentially follow this pathway along down here, go straight down this way, and then at the end here we're going to turn to the right, and then we should go past a little logging camp just over here, but we want to keep going this way. And then you'll see there's a little pathway just up here, right? So we're going to go ahead and make our way straight up here, slow down a little bit. So there's the mine again. However, if we proceed onwards from the mine... So I'll stay in the car, but if you uh, to actually turn uh, right here and go beyond the mine, you'll actually arrive at a road right here. And if we get to the road, you'll see that we are now... in a neighbourhood. So let's go and uh, close the car off here. And now that we've got the shotgun, we should be good to actually start looting some houses um, a little bit more. Because look at this, shotgun, shotgun is good. So there's a few houses around here that we can actually start looting, uh, which are around the mine area. So let's go and head, uh, bleh, let's go ahead and see what we can find in these houses. So now I got the shotgun, I should be able to take out zombies a lot more effectively, which means we should be able to get to some of the better loot now, which is really good. Okay, so there are zombies in this house. Okay, so there are some zombies there. Okay, might try the American Eagle here. Okay, it looks like he's trying to run out. Okay, I'll try the American Eagle, and then if this fails, we've got the shotgun. Right, there we go. Trigger him. Okay. Okay. What we can do is we can try and uh, we can try and uh, feign it, and then run, we can try and feint, run in and out. There we go. Run in, and run out. There we go. Got one. Okay, so we got one of them. Let's reload. There you go. So that's, I think that's the best thing we can do. Try and we can try and just faint. We can run in and then run out and see if that uh, see if that will draw them out. Because it's a lot easier to fight them outside the building than in. Okay, we can try and yeah, run in, run out. Got that guy. There we go.
Okay, there we go. There's two of them. I think there's one last one in here. Got him. Nice. Okay, there we go. I think that's cleared them. Very good. Okay, so we did use quite a few shotgun rounds, but we did find a load more anyway, so that's always, that's always good. All right, we are in the next house then. Let's have a look and see what we can find in here. So hopefully a load of good stuff. There's a, a working fridge in here. Look at that. So we can actually store some stuff in here. Um, and if you power it, that'll actually keep your food cool. Eventually, we do want to make a working fridge. For now, though, we're just going to go ahead and take whatever we can find in here. So loads of chocolate bars in here. So why don't we eat a few of these and just get rid of them? Because chocolate bars, I mean aren't the best food source and they're kind of a waste of a slot honestly so may as well eat them as we go because i think eating chocolate bars actually helps restore some of your maximum fatigue like I, uh, I think it's a very tiny amount i just want to look closely i think it is like the most minuscule amount but it does um like a very tiny amount which is pretty good so we'll grab the bottles in here as well because we're going to need those to make the uh the alcohol uh distillery at some point let's go and have a look in here what do we have there is nothing in here anything on the shelf Nope, this room is completely empty at the back. Okay, nothing in the case here. So we're going to have a little look around this building, see what we can find. There's some gunpowder there. Very good, I'll take that. Uh, there is nails in here. Now, you guys have been saying I should start collecting nails because it's uh, required in, in a lot of things. So, you know what? I'm going to take you guys up on that. I'll, take, I'll start collecting all the nails as we find them. It will take some more room in our car. However, we can store some stuff um, in boxes and stuff outside the area. So that's always handy. Right, so let's go and grab this one. Is there anything over the other side of this bed? Doesn't look like there is, so there is a little drawer right there, which has an antibiotic in it, so we'll take those. Anything else? Okay, there's a couple of cupboards here. Let's have a look in these. A rag and a sewing kit right there. So yeah, you guys have been saying yeah, take rags, sewing kits, all the stuff. Pretty much all the stuff I find I should really take it. So you know what? I may as well. We're already here, we're already here like once anyway, so we may as well grab it all. Save me having to come back another time. And uh, there is a scrap right there, which I'll take. That is, what's this? Uh, oh, some nine mils. Okay, I'll take those. A couple of bullets on the chair there. Can't really break into here though, can I? No, there's nothing really much in there. I think that's one of those like weird rooms where there's just nothing in them. Make sure I've not missed anything, which I have quite clearly. Oh, there's a shirt here. I can wear that. Uh, so let's equip that. There we go. So that is a t-shirt, which is uh, very bad protection. Um, both, both of them offer very bad protection, but it's still better. Yeah, I'll, I'll, wear, I'll wear the white t-shirt, I think. White t-shirt is, white t-shirt is good with me. Okay, so I think that's everything done here. That's everything on the top floor, at least. Okay, let's just double check this, make sure I've not missed anything. Nope, I think that's everything here. We did do those, I definitely remember doing them. I did this case here. Got everything around here, no top cupboards. Oh, there's a cutter there that I missed. There we go, we'll grab that as well. I think that's pretty much everything here. Is there anything on the outside of this building? Not seeing anything right here. There's the uh, component. I'll grab that box. There we go. Not sure what military components are useful, so we'll start grabbing them. They must be they must be used for something, but as for what they're useful right now, I don't know. All right, so there's one of those houses now looted. Look at that, guys. So one house done. Let's go ahead then and head over here. And we're gonna drop some stuff back in the car that we don't currently need right now. So got an engine here. Yeah, some of these uh, some of these engines are like really bad. Like they're 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 breaking. Like they're always to the point where they just broke. So. I can go ahead and start putting the spare the spare stuff in here that I'm not going to get more of. So, for example, like food and stuff that I don't really that I can't really stack. We're going to go ahead and start stacking there. I've got 11 plus seven more shotgun shells. So I've got 18 shells left. That's great. Um, okay, I might need to keep the rest of this on me because we'll probably find more salt. I think yeah, we're, get, we're getting a lot of salt as well, which is really good because then we can start salting our meat later on. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way up this way then and see what is inside this house. Because, yeah, some of these houses do have zeds in them. So I'm going to be a bit careful. Does this one? If I go close to it. This one appears to not have zeds in it. Okay, so this one might be fine to loot. Yeah, I don't hear anything uh, I don't hear anything nasty in here. So there is a crowbar door right here. So let's go and open this one. Five minutes to open that. Not long at all. And what do we get? We got electronic components. Another bag. Nice. There we go. So we've got two more, two more slots. Uh, anything else up here on the shelf? Let's have a look behind. Nope, nothing in there. So another plus two to our bags. Nice. I'll take that. A floating bottle. All right, because uh, bottles definitely do that. Tee -hee. 
<laughs> nah, I've uh, honestly, guys. Um, if you ever hear me, hear me like uh, you know, commenting on the physics of the game or something, I do. I do know that this is a very early access game, so we will see bugs like this. I just find it funny to point them out sometimes because it's like, hmm, this defies physics. So uh, Ratty and the devs and everything, no, and, and everyone, this is. Uh, I'm not like. Uh, I'm not being mean when I say these things. Literally, just take it. Take taking it all in. Uh, taking it all in stride. That's all. We're just making it. Making a little bit of lighthearted humor out of it. That's all. So yeah. So don't worry, guys. I'm not bashing on the game. Never would. I think this is an amazing game, honestly. So there's uh, some nine mils there. Okay. Can I grab that pistol? Okay. Let's see. Can I come over here and grab it? Okay. Can I come over here and grab it? I want that pistol. I see it in there. Yeah. Give me the. Give me the. Oh, hang on. I think I managed to. Okay. I got to look under it. Got it. Yes. One pistol. A combat knife. Um. Okay. I don't really want the combat knife right now. Because we can make our own anyway quite easily. But yeah, what we can do now is we can go into this and we can disassemble this. So if we go to harvest, can we get scrap out of a knife? No, we can't. Okay, so it's literally the pistol. We can harvest that for scrap and components. Because I've already got a pistol, so I don't really need another one. Not, not at this point in time anyway. And then this combat knife is actually doing a lot better than the other one. So I'm going to drop this guy. And then you can come into my inventory there. There you go. Good. So we've got this guy here. So find another pistol. Okay, what do we have near? Okay, one lot of nothing, two lots of nothing, three lots of nothing! The best kind of loot. Look at that. Okay, sewing kit right there. Take those. And there is also rags. And a component. Very nice. I want that. Okay, anything else in this area? Doesn't look like there's much else here. Yeah, that's pretty much everything here. So that's uh, that was the, the, the nothing drawers. Drawers with a whole lot of nothing. The best kind of loot, guys. The best kind of loot. When everything has nothing in it, you know you're doing well. Okay, so I definitely searched for these. Let me just double check. Nope, I clearly didn't. Because there is some sugar left over here. And there's some canned food and sugar there. So I definitely want to keep these going. A bottle right here and another one. So yeah, now the reason I'm collecting bottles, as I said, is for the uh, the alcohol uh, distilling station. We're going to need to collect bottles for that. There is some wood scrap here that I'm not too worried about getting right at this point in time. Because I don't think we're going to find enough of it to make uh, to make it worthwhile to grab. Okay, let's go duck under here. I think that's everything in this house as well. So, let's go ahead and go back to the car and consolidate everything that we've got. So now I think we've got uh, full, four full rows of the backpack unlocked. Look at that. So, much better than the two rows we had before, now that we've got, now that we got the four here. I mean, you know, four, four is better than two max. I mean, you know, that's uh, that's that's the thing. Well, actually, it depends on, on what on what four things are better than what two. So, actually, that's a very subjective comment right there. So, maybe, maybe I'll take that one back. Maybe just maybe just a bit. Yeah, I'll take that back. Um, right, so we need to put away... Uh, right, salt piles we can do. Okay, rags, I think we're stacked fully on with those. Uh, components, we only have one. Uh, bottles, we only have six right now. So, yeah, we still have uh, room to keep stacking stuff. So, let's go to this house and see what's over here. So house number three, right, this one is a zombie house, so this thing is loaded, okay, okay, oh, hello, okay, someone passed, shoot him, okay, back away, back away, back away, got him, there you go, haha, -ha! take that you buggers, right, so reload this, Right. Got him. There you go. He's down. Nice. Okay, got those guys out of the way. What did you get? You had a rag, you had some sugar, another military box. Nice. Okay, so he had some good stuff. There's a uh, crowbar door right here. Let's go and smack our way through this. See what we get inside here. Oh, look at this. We have um, ammo right there. Some food. Lots of ammo and food in here. Nice. Sewing kits. All right, this was this one's a bit of a jackpot. Look at that, and there's another axe right there. Very good. Anything behind? Wrapped up. Oh, look at that. That was a that was a jackpot. That was a jackpot one there. Nice. Okay, so we've uh, we've hit something pretty cool here. Okay, let's go and quickly loot through here. How is our stats doing right now? Pretty much everything else is good. Let's make our way back to the car real quick. How's our health? Health is pretty much full now as well. Let's make our way back to the car. We need to definitely stack some things now to find in that. Wow, that was a that was a pretty good find. Not gonna lie, that was that was pretty nice. So there's another axe right here. Uh, so components and stuff, so we can stack. Yeah, pretty much the food and stuff, I think, is going to be what's taking up most of our room here. Because food can only stack to one. That's one thing I do recommend for the devs as well, is that canned food should stack higher. I reckon canned food should be able to stack to more than one. Can these stack? Yeah, military components can stack, so that's fine. Uh, bottles we now have eight of, so that's fine. We can put those together uh, in the car here. 
These, I think, stack to 8 as well, maximum. Okay, so let's go and... Yeah, those stack to 8 max. And these can now be moved back here. There you go. So we got a load of pistol rounds so far. Man, this is, a, this is a jackpot house. Look at this. Now, I don't know if there's anything at the top. I don't know if there's even a way to get out the top, but... That's right. Let's have a look in here. See so if we can find matches. I'll take those. I mean, we got plenty of matches, but I'll keep taking them. May as well. May as well grab all the good things that we can. So yeah, these ones we looted already, that's fine. Alright, so let's have a look and see what we find in this little area here. There could be something good. There is a bottle there. Grab it. Right, so there's probably going to be more bottles and stuff in here. There you go, there's more salt there. I want that. Definitely want the salt. The bottle's there. Because yeah, if we can start salting the meat and stuff that we get from hunting bears, that's going to be really, really handy. Okay, anything in there? Let's have a look on the shelves. Make sure I don't miss anything around here. Don't think there's anything in here, really. Uh, oh, there's a bottle right there that I missed. There's two cubs at the top here. Which both had nothing in. I might have got those already, not sure. Hmm. But that is not bad. Okay, there's a bottle there and a can food there. That must have been from the zombie I killed. Let's go and reload the shotgun as well. One more round. Okay, everything else is done in this building right here. So I think we're going to have enough room to do maybe one, maybe two more buildings. But then we're going to have to head back and see if we can get home from here. So let's go ahead and make our way into the car quickly. Let's drive down the neighbourhood a little bit. And let's go to another load of houses because there's a little lake just here. And then beyond that is another load of houses just uh, just over here beyond it. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, make a little pit stop right here. There we go. And let's go and uh, chuck some stuff in the car again. Keep this, uh, keep this stacking up. So we have now some more canned food. So yeah, lots of canned food. So we should be good for food for a while now that we got all this canned stuff, which is really, really handy. Uh, there is... I think salt sacks high to 16. I'm not sure, though. Okay, is there anything in here? Okay, I don't hear any zombies in this house. Okay, so this one should be good to loot as well. There's lots of cars we can break down for scrap and components later, which I will. Let me see what we got in here, then. So this house. Let's go. Let's have a quick loot. Let's see what we can find. So nothing in those drawers at all. This door opens to a bathroom which has nothing in there. Okay, nothing in the bathroom really. That is okay. There's some cupboards in here, however. Let's have a quick look in here. Chocolate bar? Okay, I'll take it. More chocolate, more salt and sugar. Nice, I will take those too. Salt right there. And some duct tape right there. More duct tape right there. More duct tape right there, nice. Okay, so this is the duct tape house. Hashtag duct tape house. Come on, guys. You know you want to keep them hashtags rolling. Right, so anything in here. There is an electric circuit right there. Nothing there. Nothing there. And nothing there. Alrighty. More nothing there. So a lot of nothing in this room here. Can't search those drawers. That is fine. Let's move in here. So yeah, I'm probably missing a lot of loot. And I do apologize to you guys if I do miss a lot. But, you know, blind bugness does become a thing. Oh! Okay, we found an M4, guys. All right, that makes this house worth it. Okay, so that that nothing room, yeah, that nothing room is irrelevant because we got a we got a shotgun and an M4 in this episode, guys. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I think that is absolutely amazing. That is just that is awesome source. Oh, an alcohol as well. Nice, I'll take that. I can probably just get rid of the shirt though. An alcohol as well that can be used to make bandages. Oh man, that is a good find. That was a good find, guys. Wow. Okay. I'm taking, yeah, you know, the M4, you know, I was not really a fan of the M4, but I'll take it. No, of course I'm a fan of the M4, what are you talking about? No, M4, that's brilliant, that is a really good find. And I think we still might have some room to do one more house at this rate. Um, so we do have some extra rags that can stack. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, these things I can just eat, I think, just to keep my, uh, keep my hunger up, there we go. And we should have enough room for maybe like one more, one more excursion. And then we should be good. So, oh man, that was a good find though. Oh, look at that M4. Nice. I can't believe that. That's so that's so good. So so good. Alright, let's get in the car then. Let's drive down this way a little. Actually, do I want to drive down this way? No, I, I think after this I'm gonna leave the neighborhood um, and head back home. So what we're gonna to want to do is kind of turn the car around here. And then turn the engine off here, and then we'll go we'll just go to the next house. Which is right, which one do we want to go for? Hmm, that's just a garage. Does it have zombies in it? 
This one does have zombies in it. Okay, let's go for the one with zombies in it. Why not? Feeling, uh, feeling a bit more confident now. Okay, but it is getting night time, so they will be able to start coming outside soon. Okay. Let's go and have a look in here. Nothing in the bag. Okay. Right, this thing is loaded, right? I have 14 shots left on this thing. Okay. Okay, so there's one guy just moving past there. Okay. I wonder, actually, if I can get them... Oh, God. Okay. Okay, got him. Ouch. Okay, that hurt a bit. Got him. There we go. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. <laughs> Ow. Okay, is that it? Okay. Uh, health is not going down. Okay, that's fine. There's one more in here. Right, this guy. You dropped a rag. I'll take that. Good thing we got these bandages here. Right, there's one more guy down here, I think. Got him. Alright. There we go. Zombie has been defeated. Right, is that it? I think so. There's a knife in the in the safe here. Alright, so last house. Okay, that was uh, that was a bit of a close call. But that's all good. Right, so we got these guys out of the way with the shotgun. I love the shotgun. Very useful, very useful gun. Very useful gun. Alright, so what do we have in here? We have a web engine here, which is really good, so if we need to make more stuff we can. There's even a saw in here too. So okay, web bench is not a bad find for here. However, I hope there's some bed loot in here than just that workbench and this knife. I hope there is. We may find some. So let's have a quick look around, see what we can see. I don't see much over here. However, there is a... Ah, oh, the drawer's broken, so there's nothing in that. Okay, anything in this room? Any potential scrap or anything? Nothing on the shelves? Hmm, this one seems pretty empty, honestly. But there could be some good stuff over here. Okay, there's more There's more stuff over this way, so let's have a look. So in here, what do we have here? We have a sewing kit. Okay, I'll take the sewing kit. It's not worried about the shirt right now. More sewing kits right there. Nothing right there. And nothing there. Okay, anything behind the bed here? Nope, nothing really much there. That's fine. So not too much in this room. Loads of sewing kits, but that's about it. Okay, so nothing in this room as far as I could see. Alright, this house is pretty big. It, it, it sprawls quite far. Although I don't know if there's actually anything good in here. There is a rag right there. And there is... Oh, there's a bandage right there. I will take that to make up for the one that I did lose earlier. There you go. I will take the antibiotics out of there. Okay, what do we find in here? So nothing in that one. Rags in that one. And nothing in that one. Okay. And here we have another door. Which leads to the bathroom, which has a second alcohol in there. So with these now, we can make a bandage. So let's go and craft one of those real quick. So one of those. Craft myself. That took me like 10 minutes to do. There we go. And we have another bandage, which does save me now two slots. Excellent. So one rag there. Another rag there. And nothing in that one. All right. So this, this house had a bit of alcohol in it. Not bad. Honestly, though, for a house of zombies, I was expecting some better loot, but, you know, I guess you can't be too picky. Which is fine. Let's have a look and see what we got in here. So there's some 9mm in there. Okay, that's not bad. 9mm. I'll take those. Some salt and some cola. I will take that. Okay, some matches and stuff. Okay, some things over here. Uh, what is that? Oh, a lockpick. Nice. I'll take that as well. So if our crowbar runs out, we have a lockpick to use um, spared up as well. Uh, nothing else in here, I don't think. No other higher containers. Doesn't look like it. So we searched in there. We searched here. We searched here. So absolutely nothing else in here. No. Definitely sure there's nothing else in these rooms. I think we. I think we're all good. Let me just double check on the shelves in here. Just want to see if there's anything else that we've missed. Because usually I'm notorious for missing stuff on shelves. So. I think there's nothing in this room. Yeah, this house, for, for the amount of zombies it had in there, didn't really have that much loot. I was actually surprised this room had, like, pretty much nothing in there. Yes, this one had pretty much nothing in. Apart from the combat knife, but that's about it. Hmm. But yeah, at least we have a weapon here, which is really good. That means that uh, if we ever need to uh, make some stuff, or like a spare crowbar or anything... Uh, how is our crowbar doing, by the way? Uh, it's getting low on durability, so yeah, we might need a spare one soon. Now that we're thinking about that, we might need a spare one pretty soon at this rate. But, 
I think that's pretty good. We got pretty much all the loot from this place um, up to this house. So we have to do have to do one more, which is over the other side here. Hang on, there's a case right there. Anything in it? Nope. Nothing in the case. So I think, guys, we're at a pretty good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So what we're going to do is uh, between episodes, guys, I'm going to take the uh, I'm going to take the stuff uh, that we've managed to acquire um, back to home. I'm going to pretty much sort all that stuff, take all the stuff back home. And then in the next episode, I guess we can either come back here and do some more looting in this place, or we'll be able to go ahead and see if we can do some other cool things. Because you know, lo looting is looting is good, looting is fun. Um, however, might want to see if we can do some other things, like uh, build some more workstations and stuff to uh, make us a little bit more self-sufficient. Because right now, we rely a, a hell of a lot on uh, the loot, which you know is at the start of the game that's to be expected. But as you move on, as you move on in the game. Probably going to want to start relying on that uh, a little bit less as we go. So I've got to really find my way out of here, haven't I? Which is, uh, it's over this way. Okay, hang on. i got to go around the tent. I'm not a fan of how dark it gets. And these headlights really don't do the best job at um, making this uh, making this job any easier. That's all right. Now you should be able to drive through here. Okay, now we got it. Hopefully we're not going to flip our car. But yeah, as you can see, it gets really, really dark down here uh, when it gets nighttime. And the uh, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say now the headlights don't really brighten things up that much, which does make it a little bit harder. That's okay. Let's go back to the farm. Here we go. Now we know where we're going. That's a really really steep ramp right there as well. But yeah, I think now, guys, we're at a pretty good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end it right here. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye.